We're here on the beautiful Indian River today checking out Ancona's beautiful native skiff. This is their SUV model or sportsman utility vessel. The boat is based on a 1965 Fibercraft. The 1965 Fibercraft was a boat that was very popular with many of the legendary anglers of our time like Stu Abt and Dick Dunaway. Ancona modified the bottom running surface, adding lifting strakes for today's heavy four-stroke motors and also adding pulling strakes that help it pull straight and track true. The first chimes are added to give the boat better lift, get it up on plane quicker, and also to support today's four-stroke motors. The boat has pulling strakes to help it track while pulling, but also help in the curves and corners. You gotta take the boat off a of plane a little bit, let those strakes dig in in a turn, and you can cut it real sharp and hard. You don't want to run full open in a wide in a quick turn, because it's going to skip a little on you because of the flat hull. You can get the boat without a top deck if you want, because the edges are still designed as a rolled edge. However, they can set the top on it, gives you a better pulling ability, gives you better casting ability with a front casting platform, and ability to add the hatches. Everything that they build, they build as to the customer's desires. Center consoles, grab consoles, consoles with coolers or live wells built in. These are all elements that Ancona can build into your boat. Finish on the boat is built to match the specifications of the customer, but also to fit within a price range. Most of the boats going out of Ancona, boat motor and trailer packages are ranging between seven to ten thousand dollars. For an entire package with a small boat, four family, a small family, or one to two anglers, it's a really solid package for very little money. Ancona builds each boat to their customers' needs. This particular model is a tiller-based model. The tiller-based model comes with a rear bench seat that opens up with dual hydraulic shocks for a large dry storage area. Dry storage area includes an optional drop-in box that can be used for fishing tackle, for small item storage, maybe your keys, your wallet. Lid is concave, so when you drop it in, you can put your GPS here or other small items that tend to get lost. The other side is nice and open, so you can drop in your fire extinguisher. You have plenty of room for PFDs, for throw cushions, for anything else that you want to carry and keep reasonably dry on the boat. This particular model, the pulling platform here is a little bit smaller than we'd like to see. In the next, in their production, the other production models, this pulling platform is about three inches wider. This is Ancona's tiller console. It's sort of like a mini console. It's built for their tiller-based boats. You have a grab rail to keep your balance while running. It's also built in size to fit a Group 24 battery. It's also a great place to put your rod holders, a drink holder, and this particular model has a door on it so it's relatively water sealed. Moving up, you have the front deck. This particular model uses a hatch for the pass-through with the bulkhead, so it keeps things relatively dry. Stainless steel hardware, you have color-matched rod holders, carpet along the, the bunk sides to keep your rods and reels protected. It's a good little boat for a good price. This boat package will run you about $8,200 as you see it rigged here. Each one runs a little different based on what the customer's needs are, but that's the motor, boat, and trailer. If a tiller-based boat isn't what you're looking for, Kona will also build a boat with a center console. This particular model has a center console, stainless steel helm, full binnacle, and the same rear storage area as the tiller-based boat. However, they changed the build for the customer's requirements as they didn't want hatch openings in the front bulkhead or in the console area. The larger console gives more room for rod storage and a larger area if you need to store more for batteries or hydraulic pumps for jack plates and trim tabs or any of those other optional accessories that you may need. With the base hull price at $2,900, the native SUV is a good small boat for really good value. If you're in the market for a small little skiff, definitely check out the native SUV.
The Native SUV is hand built. Each boat, they spray the gel coat in the mold and then build the boat up layer by layer of glass. As they build up each layer, they custom cut the, each section 